Rosa Susan Williams Ellis. This rose for me in my garden, it doesn't really um, do great to be honest. I saw it in the catalogue and I was like, oh my god, I need this rose, it's so beautiful. And it is. You can't deny its beauty. But it just doesn't do very well because when it rains, the um, petals ball up, the ones that are half open, or even, let me show you, like this. If we have a few days of rain, they ball up. And they don't unpin. You get lots and lots of buds on Susan Williams Alice and I would say about 40% of them don't unpin correctly. They look horrible. I, I just end up cutting them off. It's got a really nice sweet old rose fragrance. And it smells really lovely. When I cut it and bring it indoors, the whole living room smells so sweet of rose. In fact, sometimes when I um, cut it and bring it in, the scent can be that intense. Um, I have it on like, um, I keep them on like a coffee table. I've got to move it um, at a more further away distance because the scent can be quite overpowering. So that's how nice, nicely scented it is. But you know, a nicely scented rose is not great if it doesn't fare well in the rain, and of course I live in England, it rains in England. And the growth habit is really rather quite twiggy. This is its second year in my garden, and there's two. There's one planted here, and one planted here. The first flush is almost over. And, um... Yeah, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really rave about it. I wouldn't really praise it that well, apart from it has nice fragrance. Looks pretty, but the um, petals shatter really quite quickly. And to be honest, I think there's better white roses out there to have in your garden. Yeah, so, no. Really not the rose for me, I'm afraid.